So I'm joined by Ryan Lillywhite from Cannonball here. Ryan, it's a pleasure to talk to you on this beautiful looking stand. Um, we thought we couldn't pass up the opportunity to have a word with one of you guys because the stand always looks spectacular from year to year. And um, right now you've got a vintage Reborn style saxophone here, which I believe you're going to play a little clip for us on. And just before you do, this is a sax that we stock in our store. But we've had more of a focus on the Big Bell series, really, right. because I guess it's just it's made famous by Gerald Albright, and that's the leading figure, really, that, that really puts it up there. Right. And um, and maybe this is sort of seen as the kind of uh, the sax that's hidden away behind you know behind the cupboard doors a little bit. Is is that for you? Do you have a bit of a perception of this saxophone kind of being the secondary model, or it, does it have a bigger place in say the U.S. market? Right, it's it's an alternative model. So the the Big Bell Stone series is the one. It's 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 probably the most well known of our cannonballs. Um, it has that big open kind of American sound, um, and it's a professional model. The Vintage series, which you can see, has the kind of a smaller bell, a traditional size. It's also a, a top professional model, um, but it's it's a little bit more focused sound. Has a more streamlined key work. And has a nice rich timbre to it, very even up and down, and a very fast response as well. And it's it's just two different ends of the spectrum: the Big Bell and the Vintage series, two different professional models. Absolutely. I mean, that's the way I see it. I've always loved this sax. I just wanted to give you the chance to say that. It's there's something about a narrower bore that gives that focus of sound, that kind of classic vintage sound. And I guess that's what it delivers. It's the vintage sound for for someone who's been used to playing on you know an old 1950s horn for years they're going to feel very comfortable on this but of course it has all of the modern advancements to it. maybe you can give us a little clip right now okay Beautiful stuff. Uh, I love the sound there, very focused, very rich. Uh, yeah, so we're going to be focusing a little bit more on this saxophone in our store. So look out for more of these vintage reborns to come. And also, whilst we're looking at this lovely display of saxophones, maybe you can take us through the three that we've set out here at the front of the table, because we were just talking before we went to shoot about the beautiful premier engraving service that you guys offer. Um, we, we currently have uh, one or two in the store that has an engraving similar to this. And um, perhaps we can just point this out right now for the cameras. So tell us about this sax here. Right, so this is the Black Ruby A5R Premium Big Bell Stone Series. And this has one of our premium engraving motifs. It's one of the new ones. We actually have, I think, 75 different options for engraving right now. For if a customer wants something that's unique to them, they can go on our website and see all of the options and find. They're organized by different tiers. Um, essentially, depends on how long it takes our artists. We have seven different hand engraving artists on staff in our Salt Lake City location. And the longer it takes them, the higher the tier and uh, the more elaborate it gets. So this one is engraved all the way back onto the bow. Just gorgeous. So which tier is this? This one I believe is a tier three. And I should know the name of it, but it's it's so. That's big. okay. You've got how many? Did you say seventy? About seventy-five. Yeah, yes. that's forgivable. Right. This is another one of the options. It's a uh, just a second, Jim. Um, this is another option. It's a uh, it's a more delicate. It's a very fine engraving. Um, it just has some beautiful, beautiful filigree work on it. You can see it takes some very delicate handy work on it. Um, I believe this is also a tier three, but don't quote me on that. We'll have to. I won't quote. Go back. It's very beautiful. Very beautiful. <laughs> All right. And finally, we've got this one over here. Maybe grab it before this guy grabs it. You know, we did. Somebody has already grabbed oh, it. They've, the grabbed brute, they've taken it. Okay. The, the brute has walked off. The, the brute we'll has walked off mid-video. <laughs> it did look great, folks. <laughs> that one. It has. It has a new. One of our artists has uh, designed a way to make a three-dimensional look on the saxophone bell itself so it's the way that he layers the the engraving he'll go one way with one tool and then come another way and we'll have to we'll go find it and do a little close-up so you can see we'll do a tag on video at the end of this right, right but it's go. spectacular stuff listen it's been a pleasure talking to you and um 
I love your saxophones and we're going to be stocking more of these, particularly this Reborn uh, sax, which as you heard there sounded just fine and sweet. So thank you very much, Ryan. Brilliant Always stuff. A pleasure. Thank you very much. Great. So we found out that the culprit who stole that third saxophone that was on the end of the table there was none other than Marcus Miller, the famous bass guitarist, who is currently holding it over here. So perhaps we can now focus on the saxophone and not Marcus Miller, if we can get past this gentleman. Which way are we going? Sorry, Marcus, we just needed to talk about this saxophone with this incredible engraving. Perhaps you can take us through it. Okay, this is a cannonball tanner. Listen, this finish is called the brute finish. I don't know what I'm talking about. He just told me that. <laughs> I thought that was the case. But what I do know is that this engraving is really impressive. Look at that. Look at that, man. Have you ever seen anything like it? So I'm just going to walk that way like this is mine and see if it works. <laughs> I bet you wish you had a bass clarinet like that, right? I'm waiting. I told him. Still waiting for the clarinet. <laughs> Very beautiful. So there you go. You heard it from Marcus.